Hello and welcome to Dr. Mario and Tetris, or Tetris and the Dr. Mario. I can't tell because the title is moving in different format, but whatever. I'm playing this on the Super Nintendo Classic, not the original one, although both of the games are from the original Nintendo. So anyway, the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to take it easy on the gun violence and gore on my last videos in the previous time. So I'm trying to take a different route, doing it more kid-friendly and family-oriented games. So what better way to start with the classic? Anyway, I'm going to be playing this in different order. First Tetris, then Dr. Mario, and if we have time, this one, whatever that is. So let's start with Tetris. So right off the bat, you may notice that it's inspired of inspired of Russia because of the Kremlin building over there and when I was young I always thought that this was actually a Batman game because it used to be dark the screen yeah I didn't know better anyway let's get to it so here is the options the game types and music type as well Let's just go and make this easier by going to level 3, just to, for beginners, just to show you. And let's get started. So this is actually a puzzle game, pretty standard and simple for you youngers, younger generation. The option of this is just to match, to play some of the shapes in a different hole. You do that and it disappear, so it makes more hole. But if you get all the way in the top, it will the music will go faster and you don't have enough room to it. I'll just show you because I really cannot speak today. It's a pretty simple puzzle game and right now I already messed up. But that's fine. This is pretty simple to get through. And I'm going to silence this comment for a little bit. Alright, I just needed to focus and try to fix something. Alright, let's see. Also, this is going to be a let's try, so I'm pretty sure I'm going to try to make this as quick as I can. And right now I can't focus because I'm already messing up. There we go. So this is actually a Super Nintendo version. But in this version, some of the music is different than the original. And I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna... get a copyright strike just to show the music. Or not, I don't know. I could play it on the original. Nintendo, but fortunately that's... I have to emulate it. And I only got the classic game. I just mentioned it earlier before. Wow, I made a pretty good score on that one. So I'm going to try to make a heights 
the high score as much as I can before moving into the next game. Just to give you an idea. If not, then I probably might make a higher score and make an achievement on something or beat this level. Really don't matter. Pretty good, so far. And like always, I'm not going to be talking as much because, like always, my comment is a bit off, or my voice is off, or whatever reason. There we go. Messed up in that. And I can't tell because the music is going faster, so you know that I'm close to the top. But at least I made it with the best score I can make it. So congratulations for me. You are a Tetris master. Please enter your name. And as you can see, I already made it to first place. So I'm going to be doing that. Type my name. Okay, so now that we finished Tetris, we're going to try Dr. Mario now. So let's get into it. So instead of trying to save the princess, doctor, I mean, Mario is now a doctor. I got it all backwards. And just like Tetris, this is another puzzle game. Very similar to that, but it's slight different in its way. So let's try doing level five on this part. And let's begin. And there's Mario over there on the right and all the virus on the bottom left so as you can see you're putting all the medicines on top of the virus so you can destroy it match at least four or five or whatever and they disappear very standard puzzle and i'm trying to focus so i'm not going to be talking as much i can very simple 
simple enough and I missed that one so if you get all the virus and all of them will disappear all the colors from no viruses you get a point or not hopefully I can beat this one and try to move on to the next as much as I can Is it just me or is the thing moving faster or falling faster? There we go. And I made it. I cleared the stage and I destroyed the virus. Look at Mario saying that I did it. Let's try again. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, it looks like I've already taken care of that, actually. High score from the looks of that. Oh, so now we can continue on. And I messed up in that. Let's just 
get it through. It doesn't matter if I win this score or not, or this stage. I'll just move on to the next. There we go. And I'm not paying attention. <laughs> I can't see. Should have done that on purpose, but hopefully I did enough to get as far as I can from this area. So let's go. So now we're in the last game, Mixed Match. I never played this that often when I was young. Actually, yeah, come to think of it, the first time I ever played the this port at least, Tetris and Mario the Super NES, is when I first moved to Texas. But I'm not gonna get to that, so let's just play that. What it is. Mix match. Is this some sort of collaboration with Dr. Mario and Tetris? I'm not sure. I think it is, because right now I'm playing Tetris. All right, so let's see what this, how I do in this. I made a room, and somehow my opponent doesn't seem to do too good on this. Tell if this has a time limit of something. Oh well, I'll just play along till it's over. He's gonna do too good. Do well on this, I'm 
trying to sing. I messed up. Like I made it. So now I'm playing Dr. Mario. And it looks like my opponent had to catch up. Looks like he's not catching up. My score is perfect. I'm the winner and he's the loser. Well, that's it for today. That concludes the tryout of Tetris and Mario, Dr. Mario. So I'm going to have to end this video. So thank you for watching and sorry for the lack of dialect and comments on my commentary, but I'll try better next time. And practically, I'm trying to say, I'm actually saying the same thing every time I do this. But yeah, if you like this content, be sure to leave a thumbs up and please subscribe. That will be very helpful. So until then, I will see you again in the next project.